In this quick video tutorial, we're going to cover how to best search for listings in the RCO3 system uh, by either address or street name. When you know the address of a property and you want to access the listing for it, one of the quickest and most efficient ways to do this in RCO3 is by using the speed bar and the asterisk character. The speed bar tool appears at the top of the screen on the home page and on all subsequent screens in the RCO3 system. So for this example, uh, we want to access the active listing that's at 2386 Oak Ridge Drive, but we're not going to type all of that information into the speed bar. We're going to type the street number, a space, and then just the first few letters of the street name uh, and an asterisk. And by doing this, I'm going to click on my magnifying glass to go ahead and run my search. Uh, by doing this, we're going to find everything in the system at 2386 on a street starting with the letters OAK. And so we actually have eight matches listed here. Not all of them are active. I see the, uh, only two uh, that are active. One is uh, a real comp listing, and the other uh, is uh, in our system by way of the Great Lakes Repository data sharing. Um, so these are actually the same property. And uh, the reason why both are displaying and the second one was, was not removed from the system is because there is no space between Oak and Ridge. Uh, but I can see that this really is a duplicate listing. So uh, I'll go ahead and notify our IT department uh, so that they can take care of removing that, that dupe. Uh, but uh, you can see that by entering just the first few letters of the street name and the asterisk character uh, that I was able actually uh, was able to pull everything up in the system that starts with those letters and then um, you know by looking at the matches look to see which one I really uh, am interested in and, and that's uh, this listing here the active listing uh, the fourth one down so that really is the quickest way to pull up matches by address, uh, and that's through the speed bar and by using the asterisk character.